Steve Mack, the real deal. And when you get the real deal on the table, the formula and chemistry creates. Hi guys, and welcome to today's vlog. Uh, today we're actually interviewing and catching up with a gentleman called Con Nichols, a uh, boy with a suitcase, so another property expert. We're gonna, be, um, we're gonna be catching up with one of our brokers today, Alex. Uh, from Low Market and having a quick discussion with him about what's hot in the market, where the rates are going. When is the best time to buy property? Well, five years ago when I told yeah, you so. <laughs> 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 the thing is, but remember, what you do and I yeah, do, they yeah. won't do. No. Because no. we are, we are driven in such a way that, you know, like you and I, we can go on the treadmill yeah, yeah. and we're going to keep going. Until we die. Exactly. Yeah. Are you so still you selling me. those now? Yes. Yeah. My problem is now is that I cannot get stock. Yeah. Were you using Oriana? Yes. Yeah. I cannot get stock. I yeah. cannot get stock. You're dealing with Lee? Yeah. Yeah, I she's can. nice. Now yeah. I've got a second party that I'm negotiating now. Yeah. They're going to give me some more stock because I need stock. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, as you know, we're not the only ones. I'm not the only ones. And yes, there's another yeah. hundred other agents. Yeah. So yeah, I haven't done any NDIS myself. I it's very doing, tricky because yeah. the thing is the purchaser has got to be not qualified, yeah. triple qualified. It's mm -hmm. got to be triple jab. Yeah, right? yeah. You've got to have at least 30%, maybe 40% money Cash. on the side. Yeah. Um, your bank has got to be pre-approved so they know what's going yeah. on. Um, there's only a few lenders who lend you money for their product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not your 95% of the, oh, let's go buy one tomorrow, forget what about it. What else are you selling? I'm selling a lot of, a lot of apartments now. Oh, good. Yeah. I, I've got into apartments because uh, I had a lot of inquiry come in and I was going, yeah, look, I can't help you. Yeah, yeah. I can't help you. Are you doing those in like um, Footscray, West Melbourne? No. Or, no. Whereabouts? Clayton. Yeah. Esperton. Ah. Mount Waverley, Glen yeah. Waverley. Yeah. Montana. Yeah. And uh, McKinnon, Ben. You've got a couple of favorite products in here that you like or? Ah, oh, Gaganaum. Yeah. It is a bee soup that's our mm -hmm. one of our brands that we love. Mm -hmm. You've got a couple of favorite products in here that you like or? Ah, oh, Gaganaum. Yeah. It is a bee soup that's our mm -hmm. one of our brands that we love. Everything sort of fell into place. I'm into manifestation, gratitude, and just everything falling in place. And literally, it was just a little bit of traffic for Nick today mm -hmm. that's pushed him back. And we're meant to meet in Oakley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We changed, I said, oh, we're going to run late. It's like, let's change to Chatty. Yeah. Oh, that immediately comes to mind that we'll, uh, I definitely know he'll buy his supplies from you. So, Wonderful. Cool. So, guys, one of the topics I want to cover today, and I get a lot of these questions from first home buyers, sometimes it's all about designer brands and where you're going to invest your money. Uh, there's some quick fixes out there at the moment. One of the things that keeps coming up is, hey Steve, I've got a little bit of money put aside in my savings and I've also got some put in uh, crypto. So not advocating this part at all, but uh, generally what you should do if you're budgeting for a new home is save 20% of your money. Uh, at the moment, some of my first home buyers are saving 10% into savings and 10% they're investing into, say for example, crypto.com or one of their Coinbase wallets. Uh, one of the advantages of this is if you're putting your money into the bank at the moment, it is safe and secure, but you're only earning 1% to 2% a year. If you're putting your money into crypto and done right, uh, you can make returns of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% on your funds. Of course, you're playing, you are rolling the dice, uh, but it is a, a quicker way to get your savings up, also a quick way to lose money as well. So uh, give it a go, put 10% of your money away and have a play with that and see how you go. Hopefully you get your savings up a lot quicker. Why Stevie Mac? What made you change the brand Stevie Mac? I sort of grown up with the last name McMenamin, uh, very hard to pronounce. Uh, Steve Mac just became a, I guess, a household name around about um, 18 when I moved to uh, moved out of Trelawan. Stevie Mac's all about fun. He's about events, um, about helping people. He's about putting his best foot forward. Uh, takes no shit, takes no prisoners, but really just, um, I think it's what it represents is helping others see the best in themselves. So. Uh, anyone that asks you generally about who I am and what I do, uh, I'd give you the last dollar out of my pocket and it's really just about helping uh, other people just, you know, I mean, have a presence and, uh, and seeing them in the best light. So keynotes that you can suggest to a uh, first home buyer, what would it be? Alright, uh, first thing is write down exactly what you want, where you want to live and by what time that needs to be. 
Second thing is uh, what that's going to cost you. Not only is it going to cost you financially, but it's going to cost you time. It's going to cost you time away from your family. It's going to cost you time away from your friends. It's also going to cause you a few arguments. Uh, what sacrifice are you prepared to make? But I can tell you, the opinion of others doesn't pay your bills. So I would say most importantly, get your own home, get your first home, get it done. Uh, last but not least, um, if you can't do it now, do it later. Uh, and what I mean by that, and this why I work with new property versus established, here's an example. If I was selling this coffee now and it's hot and it's ready to go, um, I need to be here, I need to have the money, and I need to be present. Buying off the plan, I can order this coffee 12 months out, and it gives me 12 months to, to work towards it. So for example, if you're not a good saver, but you put a deposit down and you know you're gonna lose the deposit, you're gonna save like hell and it's gonna give you 12 months to work it out. The other benefit with that is in 12 months typically, property goes up. So you can settle on the property, revalue it, get your money back if need be, or maybe mum and dad have helped you out. Guys, uh, just here at Loan Market down in Melbourne. So just catching up with one of our leading brokers, Alex. Mate, I've been writing loans, oh geez, it's coming on to about six years now, seven years. Um, so I was lucky enough mm -hmm. to work at uh, at ANZ and then NAB doing that job and then uh, I, I kind of pulled the trigger about two, three years ago and thought, hey, I, I really want to go out and do my own thing, but also give you know my clients, I guess, access to a heap of different banks rather than just saying, oh, look, when I first met you, it was about mm -hmm. two years ago now and, mm -hmm. and you, you were quite upfront in the way that you said, look, what are your goals? I want to know about your goals mm -hmm. um, and what's your plans for the next year or two coming up. Um, and because I was new as on my own, I had the experience as a lender and I knew what I was doing, but I was new as a, a broker on my own. Um, and I said to you, look, there's a couple of awards um, that I really want. The first one being the, the newcomer of the year or the rising star of the year. So that's out of all brokers in Australia. If you've been broking for under two years, um, you sort of got to be in the top sort of one to one to three percent in mm -hmm. what you're doing. And yeah, and you've sort of followed along the journey. I reckon you've checked in every three months or so and, and seen how I'm going. And yeah, I was lucky enough in December last year to be nominated for that. So that comes out next month. So we'll see if I'm successful. But um, even if not, you know, I think the important thing was is getting at least some recognition to be nominated and knowing that I'm on the right path. And the topics we talked about was house, house and land uh, established. We talked about apartments, townhouses, um, all different style of clients. But have you got a sort of, what do you mean, preferred top three of clients you like dealing with? What, what does that look like in today's market? Yeah, I guess if you look at the, the really, if you break it down really simply, mm -hmm. I, I think that um, someone with just some, some income that at least we know what's happening in terms of some consistency, mm -hmm. um, that's really key. It doesn't matter how much, it's, it's often about the consistency of your mm -hmm. income. Um, the other ones that we like are, and someone that um, I prefer to deal with is People who are just really on top of their credit, you know, people who have taken out lots of credit cards or lots of personal loans. I guess before getting a home loan, we want to make sure those things are closed. Mm -hmm. um, so that's probably the first step that you would do with those with those clients rather than go down the home loan route. Um, but uh, yeah, look, in terms of you know demographics or anything like that, you really mm -hmm. deal with people all, all over Melbourne, all over Victoria, all over Australia. It doesn't matter their income in terms of the amount, as I said. Mm -hmm. um, we just want, we like people who are really keen and, and really keen to work with us and, and are really serious about their property journey. Perfect, and one of the things that I've noticed since uh, meeting you is you've really grown your team. Uh, so you have a lot of, I guess, it's not just you doing all the work, mm. but um, how important is it to have the right admin, the right statements and all that behind the scenes? So you actually do a lot of the work for the clients, but talk to us about your team and yeah. how you plan to grow that. Yeah. yeah, it's a good it's a good point that you make mm -hmm. because I mean on the surface of it all people would just see myself, mm -hmm. um, and that is the case in terms of I'm overlooking overlooking I guess mm -hmm. what what's happening, but we made the decision to really grow as a business that we wanted to make sure that clients felt like it was a really personal um, journey that they were on. Mm -hmm. So what, the way that we did that was we assigned a team member to each stage of the process. So at least that way that they know that they're always going to have someone on hand. So whether that be dealing with collecting documents mm -hmm. or dealing with managing the settlement, they know that there's someone they can call all the time and uh, that they can get in touch with at any time. Steve, what an amazing personality to be able to bring so much vibrance and energy and also that underlying um, feeling and desire to help people. 
and I love that and I love being able to refer him to my clients. I've never got any issues with uh, once I've handed a client over, it's, I know that they're going to get the service and attention that they need to get the job done and to obviously to make sure that they um, that they are all their all their requirements are met. So huge thanks to Steve. Thank you for letting me be here and be part of this amazing evening. Good night.